Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to compare the OnePlus Nord against the LG G7, a mid-run con contender from 2020 against a flagship device from two years ago, Snapdragon 7 65G, Snapdragon 8 45. Uh, both are missing a uh, telelens, only wide angle and a main lens in here and we want to compare first of all the uh, photo quality and later on of course speed and some videos as well. So let me first start with the vlogging test. So now the uh, front-facing camera test of the OnePlus Nord. This is now 1080p 60 frames per second and if I move around a bit you can see that the uh, stabilization is working pretty nicely and exposure and also uh, high dynamic range. If I just turn myself to the sun you can see it's not overblowing my face so you can still see my face wonderfully and uh, yeah this is the front facing camera i cannot switch to the ultra wide front facing camera because it's a limitation of the software itself and my microphone that i use here for recording needs to record externally because the camera software of the oneplus has no um, no capability to record sound via an external um, microphone so this is the front facing camera test of the oneplus nord now I pause it and I switch to the ultra wide angle. The ultra wide angle has a little bit of softer kind of image, but in this lighting conditions you probably won't see it. It doesn't have an autofocus, so if I put something in front of it, just like my hand for example, you can see it will probably not focus. Um, in general this camera is very good for vlogging because it has this ultra field of view and if I have my normal selfie stick here right now you can still see a lot of stuff in the background. The dynamic range should be not as good but still in bright lighting conditions you will not have any problems with uh, vlogging with the OnePlus Nord's uh, ultra wide front facing camera. Uh, so this is a recording with the LG um, G7 front camera. It has um, approximately the same normal wide angle that the OnePlus has and it also has an ultra steady shot 1080p. It can record up to 1080p 30 frames per second only so you don't get any 4k 60 frames per second shenanigans that you can do with the OnePlus Nord main camera main front facing camera in this case because the ultra wide has some limitations as well and uh, so what do you think about the uh, front facing camera how's the audio i can record the audio directly to the lg g7 without any issues the uh, normal uh, application allows me to record audio um, with the um, system without any problem with the camera software from uh, lg and uh, yeah uh, how's the front facing camera on the lg so now we are at uh, 1080p on the backside camera, the 48 megapixel backside uh, camera of the OnePlus Nord. And as you can see here, a uh, very nice rendition and coloring and uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second, also very fluid. I'm running around, handheld shot. You can see stabilization also uh, working pretty nicely. And of course, I have the option to zoom in as well. Let me zoom in here, maybe on this one here. It's a digital crop, so let me zoom into two times here. This looks still pretty good, but if I zoom in further, you can see that the quality degrades. This is like 10 times zoom. It's almost unusable, also not very stable. So to switch to the ultra wide, I have to stop again. And I have to switch to 1080p 30 frames per second, uh, otherwise it's not usable for some reason. I also can record in 4K 30 frames per second if I want to, or 4K 60 frames per second, but not with the ultra wide one. Uh, so this is this, and this is how it looks like if I uh, turn myself around and you can see or turn the camera around and you can see it's also very good for vlogging, I would say, when you want to record something and uh, talk. Uh, this uh, back camera works also pretty nicely. Uh, this one has I think autofocus so if I put my hand in here it should focus on it and then focus on me uh, which is a nice uh, little feature. Otherwise uh, what do you think which uh, ultra wide camera is the better one the one on the back or the one on the front? And uh, now we are recording uh, with the LG's uh, back camera, the main camera. You can see 60 frames per second, 1080p and it is quite smooth and quite good as you can see a dynamic range uh, it's a bit hard to test because uh, dark clouds coming right now but you can see that in general i think dynamic range should be good maybe not as good as on the oneplus nord i have the option to zoom in here as well 
Ah, this is like too much already. This is one times, this is about two times right now. And I can zoom in even more if I want to. This is also digital crop because there's no uh, possibility to zoom in uh, via telesensor because there's no telesensor. This is like eight times zoom. As you can see, it can only uh, go in eight times zoom. In uh, 1080p 60 frames per second, I cannot go down or out uh, to the ultra wide uh, angle camera. This is not possible here, at least not while recording. I will try to switch out uh, now the camera to see if it works. So now I'm recording in a super wide angle. It could be that it's switched to 30 frames per second. I'm not sure it looks a bit like uh, slower, but uh, I will just show you down there somewhere if it is uh, 30 frames per second or mm, really 1080p 60 frames per second. Anyway, this is a super wide angle camera, a very, very wide angle camera, even I think more uh, wide than the OnePlus Nord. And the dynamic range should be okay as well. Soft, of course, because it is like super wide angle, what do you expect? But in general, it's also very stable and it could be used for vlogging like this which is, I think, the preferred method if you have an LG G7. Don't use the front-facing camera. The back-facing camera's uh, ultra-wide angle is better suited for this. Does it have autofocus? I think there's no autofocus on the super-wide angle camera of the LG G7. Uh, anyway, that's uh, my short little vlogging test. I will capture some photos now and you can uh, then compare some uh, photos of flowers and some, uh, some other things that I will uh, capture here in the Albert Park. Gesundheit. Uh, okay, uh, not to the photos. Let's compare the ultra wide to OnePlus Nord against the LG G7. As you can see here, the LG G7 has a slightly brighter picture, and not so much contrast. Dynamic range looks good. The OnePlus has more contrast and a more darker picture a bit. And in general, the LG G7 has a wider field of view. As you can see here, colors are pretty similar, but a bit darker on the OnePlus. On the main cam you can see it's the other way around. The LG G7 exposure is a little bit darker and has less dynamic range and the OnePlus Nord is a bit wider and has a bit better dynamic range. Regarding the color there's not much of a difference as you can see here. They're pretty much the same. The only difference that you can see is here that the shadows are a bit darker on the OnePlus Nord and a bit lighter on the LG G7. You can see it in the shadows of the flowers but also in the shadows in the tree on uh, in the background as well and of course the wider view of the main cam of the OnePlus Nord again. Taking a look at the macro shot, the OnePlus Nord with dedicated macro camera cannot really profit from this. You can see it has a little bit of warmer tone to the colors, but the detail level is, I think, on the LG G7 a little bit better with a smaller camera sensor, which is not a macro capable sensor and a slightly more bluish tone to it. So now a video uh, where you can also check out the uh, quality of uh, the super steady mode while I'm walking and of course the uh, quality of the microphones that you can hear now uh, that I'm using from the LG G7 in this case and uh, this is the ultra steady mode on the LG G7 and now the OnePlus Nord with the ultra steady mode super stable it's called here and it is also walking the same pathway and the microphones I use right now are the same ones uh, so the native ones, the OnePlus Nord uh, ones that are built in, getting into an area where it's a bit louder in the background, but still, I think, yeah, which one has the best stabilization uh, when it comes to super stable mode? This is the LG G7 so 4K 60 frames per second mode. It is a bit limited because it can only record 6 minutes, but at least it is better than the OnePlus Nords that does only have 4K 30 frames per second on the back camera, which is a bit strange because the front facing camera can record in 60 frames per second 4K. So a bit weird that uh, OnePlus uh, still has not uh, turned on 4K 60 on the back camera. 
and uh, now 4K 30 frames per second on the OnePlus Nord and the OnePlus Nord uh, has also stabilization here enabled but it doesn't have like a super super steady mode or the super stable mode anymore so uh, this is the 4K 30 frames per second the best that you can get from the OnePlus Nord so this is now a video in a low light or lower light situation uh, 1080p 60 frames per second OnePlus Nord and I have a feeling that the OnePlus Nord uh, is not as steady as the LG G7 at least on the viewfinder it doesn't look as steady as the LG G7 which looks ultra ultra steady in this case but you can write down in the comment section uh, which you think of those both has the better stabilization also in this lower light situation uh, so this is video now in low light situation not completely low light but lower light situation 1080p 60 frames per second LG G7 so how screen brightness on the OnePlus Nord this is now an outdoor shot and as you can see here it's a bit dim I would say it's not even sunny but you can still read it wonderfully and uh, yeah if I walk around like this you can see that uh, if I go into the shadow it will become more visible and the reflections are distracting my autofocus. By the way I'm recording this with the uh, LG G7 but you can see in general that the brightness is okay but no nothing to write home about. Now the same situation uh, on the LG G7 you can see the screen now. Uh, is it a bit brighter? In general it should get a bit brighter than the OnePlus Nord screen. It's an LCD screen though. It can get uh, up to 1000 1, nits, which I think the uh, OnePlus Nord does not feature. You can see the nice reflection and I'm recording this, by the way, with uh, my uh, OnePlus Nord in 4K30. So you know what I'm doing here right now. So if I go to the shadows again, it's a bit more visible in general. I think the display on the LG G7 is a little bit brighter than the OnePlus Nord. So this was my comparison of the photo quality of the OnePlus Nord against the LG G7. What we want to do right now is check out the speed of those two devices. Snapdragon 765G against the 845 and of course both have similar, similar kind of memory here's i think only four gigabytes of uh, ram here's eight gigabytes of ram but still in terms of speed it shouldn't make any much difference in terms of how many apps you can open and run at the same time yeah. maybe also what would be very interesting what i want to show you right now is like processing some videos so i will uh, the video recordings that i did with those two devices i will process them in kinemaster and we'll do quick short little rendering test and you can see which of those both phones is better for content creation in terms of rendering times as well. So I expect the OnePlus Nord to win but you will see if the two years old flagship uh, LG G7 still has enough juice left to uh, keep this really a very fair and square fight. So let's get started with the speed test. So let's do a quick speed comparison test in terms of starting applications. So we, on the OnePlus we have no applications running, on the LG G7 we have no applications running. I want to start uh, F-Droid, one, two, three. You can see F-Droid is a bit quicker on the LG G7. Uh, let's start a different application. Let's uh, go to the Play Store, one, two, three. And you can see the OnePlus was a bit quicker here. Uh, let us start uh, YouTube. One, two, three. And you can see that the LG again was a bit quicker. Let's start some system applications, uh, just like for example the GPS test. Let's, mm -hmm. First we have to make sure that we have the uh, location services on, location is on here, location is on here. One, two, three. And as you can see here, the LG has a 3D fix faster than the OnePlus Nord. And it takes a while for the OnePlus Nord to get a fix, as you can see here. The next system app is the speed test. So 
so let's see both this has already found the server this is still searching for servers so let's go on the LG G7 both are connected to the same uh, Wi-Fi network and we perform a little speed test to see how fast the Wi-Fi is working here on those uh, both smartphones the former flagship the LG G7 I think two years old now and the OnePlus Nord which is a current one uh, let me restart the speed test to see if it's finding the server on the OnePlus then yes it found a server a different one Spark New Zealand let's choose this one to make it fair so we have a rate here 63.9 and 59.9 you can see it's pretty fast let's go with this one now same server to see if the Wi-Fi is quicker on the OnePlus Nord and it looks on the first glance it looked a bit quicker let's see if, if it can keep up this high speed or if it will bump down it is a bit quicker in download speeds 65 megabits per second and the upload speed is a bit lower though so I would say pretty equal in terms of Wi-Fi speed not much of a difference you can see uploads is a bit lower you can average out if I test it three times above uh, when it comes to other applications uh, what could we start some games for example we could start pub uh, not PUBG but Sonic uh, Boom one two three and you can see both pretty much the same time and uh, another application that we could start another game that we could start is uh, maybe PUBG one two three and it's requesting some permissions we allow it and as you can see here OnePlus Nord wins this apparently it's loading a bit quicker and uh, should load also the maps a bit quicker it's downloading in this case as you can see here and you can see that yeah we are done here and we're done here as well as you can see uh, the OnePlus Nord was a bit quicker uh, in comparison to this so now a rendering test between those two devices the uh, LG G7 on the top and the OnePlus Nord on the bottom 1080p 30 frames per second in KineMaster exporting the same project 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3 and we see interestingly enough that the LG G7 is a bit quicker than the OnePlus Nord Ooh, let's see who's faster and it's the LG G7 interestingly enough by a few seconds so now you have a feeling of uh, what is the better device the oneplus nord or the lg g7 you can write down in the comments what you think who has won my personal opinion uh, it depends i was like surprised by the oneplus nord being so good as good as a flagship device from two years ago and definitely beating it in the camera department i would say stabilization is a bit better on the main camera even if you don't get 4k 60 frames per second only 4k 30 frames per second in general i would say the oneplus nord has the big big advantage of a 90 hertz refresh rate display which is super super smooth and the lg g7 has qi wireless charging that you can use to charge the device which is also not bad but when it comes to charging times the oneplus nord again is a bit better so in general i would say if you really get the lg g7 for really really cheap money then get this this is almost as good as the oneplus nord and the oneplus nord is the clear winner here in this fight by a little margin I would say not a big margin but it shows that a two years old flagship device cannot compete against a mid-range device from 2020 at least not the OnePlus Nord 
that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching like subscribe and until the next time bye